Chapter 13 Satellite Important Terms Orbit Six circular parts Approximately Near to perfect Squashed To press or crush Meteor Heavenly body Aligned To position Astronaut People who travel into space Opaque Not able to be seen through The solar system comprises the sun and other heavenly bodies like planets, comets, asteroids and satellites of planets. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune are the eight planets that orbit around the Sun in a fixed path called orbit. A satellite is an object that goes around or orbits a planet. While there are natural satellites like the Moon, hundreds of man-made satellites also orbit the Earth. Moon Natural Satellite of the Earth Many of the planets in our solar system have more than one moon satellite of varying sizes. The Moon is the Earth's only natural satellite. It is situated about 250-000 miles. 384-400 km away from the Earth. We always see the same side of the Moon. This happens because, as the Moon orbits the Earth, it also rotates on its own axis at approximately the same rate as it travels around its orbit, moves around the planet. Movement of the Moon The Moon takes about 27 days. 27 days, 7 hours, 43 minutes and 11.6 seconds to go all the way around the Earth and returns to its starting position. The Moon's orbit around the Earth is a slightly squashed circle called ellipse. A lunar month is the time the Moon takes to pass through a complete cycle of its phases. Its cycle is measured from new Moon to new Moon. A lunar month is about 29.5 days. 29 days, 12 hours, 43 minutes, 11.6 seconds. When the Moon is orbiting the Earth, the Earth is also moving around the Sun. The Moon therefore travels slightly more than 360 degrees to get from one new Moon to the next. Hence, the lunar month is longer than the number of days it takes the Moon to orbit the Earth. Moon Pactoscope The Moon is 4.5 billion years old. The Moon rises in the east and sets in the west. The Moon orbits the Earth at an average speed of 3,683 km per hour. How can we see the Moon? The Moon is much smaller than the Sun, though it appears to be of the same size as that of the Sun. That is because the Moon is closer to the Earth than Sun. The Moon is not a light source as it does not have its own light. The Moon reflects the light coming to it from the Sun. We can see the Moon because the light from the Sun bounces back towards the Earth. In the absence of the Sun, the Moon would not be visible. How does the surface of Moon look alike? The surface of the Moon has many things on it such as craters, lava plains, mountains and valleys. Scientists believe that craters were formed around 3.5 to 4.5 billion years ago by meteors that had hit the Moon's surface. The rocks that were brought back to the Earth by astronauts tell us that the surface of the Moon is covered with dark grey dust. Footprints left on the Moon by Apollo astronauts will remain visible for at least 10 million years because there is no surface erosion on the Moon. Surface of the Moon There is no life on the Moon. The Moon's gravity is one-sixth of the gravity of the Earth. On the Moon, you can easily lift objects that would be too heavy to lift on the Earth. That is why we cannot stand firmly on its surface. Traces of water were discovered on the surface of the Moon in November 2009. But, this fact is not sufficient and suitable for life to exist on the Moon. There is no layer of atmosphere surrounding the Moon's surface. So, there is no protection from the harmful rays of the Sun. The side of the moon facing the sun is extremely hot and the side away from the sun is too cold to support life. The absence of atmosphere surrounding the moon's surface makes us prone to harmful radiation from sun, extreme weather conditions and falling meteors. These conditions make life difficult to exist on the moon.
In the absence of air, no sound can be heard on the moon. It is a lonely and silent place without any animals, plants or water bodies. The moon and the tides. The moon causes many tides in the Earth's oceans. This is because of the gravitational force of attraction. This is because of the gravitational force of attraction between the Earth and Moon. During fall and new moons, the gravitational forces of the Sun and Moon combine to produce the highest tides, called spring tides. During quarter moons, the gravitational forces of the Sun and the Moon oppose each other to produce the lowest tides, called neap tides. Phases of the Moon The changing shape of the bright part of the Moon that we see is called its phase. The revolution of the moon around the earth makes the moon as if it is changing shape in the sky. There are eight phases of the moon. When the bright part is getting bigger, the moon is waxing, and when it is getting smaller, the moon is waning. When the moon is more than half lit, it is called gibbous moon, and when it is less than half lit, it is called crescent moon. The new moon rises and sets at the same time as the sun. The full moon rises at sunset and sets at sunrise. Phases of the moon First quarter half moon Waxing gibbous moon Full moon Waning gibbous moon Last quarter half moon Waning crescent moon New moon Waxing crescent moon Full moon facts the full moon is a lunar phase occurring when the moon is on the opposite side of the earth from the sun and all three bodies are aligned in a straight line. The only month that can occur without a full moon is February. The full moon is given different names depending on when it appears. January Wolf moon or old moon February Snow moon or hunger moon March Crow moon or warm moon April Grass moon Frog moon or egg moon May Milk moon June Rose moon or flower moon July Thunder moon August Rain moon September Fruit moon October Harvest moon November Hunter's moon December Long night moon The second full moon occurring within a calendar month is called a blue moon. The last blue moon was seen on 31st December 2009. This phenomenon occurs once every three years on an average. Landing on the Moon The American spacecraft Apollo 11 landed successfully on the moon on 21st July 1969. Neil Armstrong and Edwin Aldrin stepped on the moon's surface. The third astronaut, Michael Collins, remained in the spacecraft to encircle the moon and keep in touch with the Earth. Eclipses of the Moon and the Sun We all know that the Earth revolves around the Sun and the Moon revolves around the Earth. When the Sun, Moon and Earth come in a straight line, they sometimes cast shadows. These shadows are known as eclipses. Shadow is formed when an opaque object blocks the rays of the sunlight. In case of an eclipse, the Sun, Moon and the Earth come in a straight line. Lunar Eclipse The lunar eclipse occurs when the Sun, the Earth and the Moon come in a straight line. The Earth acts as an opaque object. When the Sun rays fall on the Earth, it stops these rays from reaching the Moon. A shadow of Earth is formed on the Moon. When the Moon is completely hidden by the shadow of the Earth, it is called total lunar.